Hello guys, uh, I'm happy to be here again. My name is Mr. Leshmi and this is Jesus to class. Uh, the last time we talked about uh, polygon and we discussed the size of a polygon, how to determine the name of a polygon by the size. We discussed about the interior angles in a polygon and we discussed about the exterior angles in a polygon. But this week we'll be looking at the new topic which is angle of elevation and uh, depression. Angle of elevation and depression. Before I go into that fully, I would like to introduce you to the topic properly by giving our learning objective what we are to look into uh, or what we have, should have achieved at the end of the, the class. So this is our learning objective. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to explain the concept of elevation and depression, explain the relationship between angle of elevation and angle of depression, calculate distance and height using scale drawing, I measure the angle of depression and elevation using protractor. I believe we have discussed about scale drawing last time, what scale drawing is and on the formula of a scale drawing. That is the, the length on actual object over the length on scale. Or you can put it the other way that scale equals the length on a scale drawing over what length on actual drawing. We all know that the scale drawing is the, is the, is the uh, drawing that we assume from an actual way, giving it a scale, a, a definite scale. Probably you are presenting a, a, a scale to a centimeter in order to have it on a, on a drawing. That's what we call the scale drawing. So we go to our topic proper. We look at angle of elevation. What is an angle of elevation? First, I would like you to look at the drawing very, very well. Look at uh, this is a tree and this is a boy looking at the tree. The angle of elevation is the angle by which an object is seen or observed above the eye level. When you're talking about the, uh, the eye level, this is the eye level. Uh, we are looking, the eye level is a level at which your eyes look straight but any point at which you look above the eye level looking at an object above the direct horizontal eye level that is what the angle you make to the point of which you are seeing an object is called the what angle of elevation looking at the boy he is he's looking at the top of a tree so the angle from the eye level to the uh, to the point on the uh, on the tree is called the what angle of what elevation so by definition the normal eye level is on the horizontal line for example a boy observing an object on a tree at a distance the angle by which the boy raises the eye above the normal eye level to observe the object on the tree is called the angle of elevation. The horizontal eye level is the what eye level. That's the normal eye level, the point at which your eye sees in a straight manner. That is the eye level. So when you are looking above it to check for an object above your normal eye level, the angle your eyes makes to get, to get the object or that makes to get the point at which you are looking at the object, that angle is called the what angle of elevation. As you can see, Look at the drawing very, very well. The point A it forms a triangle, A, B, C. The tree forms a line, B, C, at which the, the boy is looking at uh, an object on the tree. So the eye level is on the A, C line, the line A, C. So looking at above, looking at the point B, gives it what uh, angle of elevation. That's what we call about angle of elevation. So we look at angle of depression. The other one is what angle of depression. It's like a word and opposite. Angle of elevation, the angle of depression. This is the point, the angle that you, you make, that your eye makes, looking at an object below the eye level, below the eye level, at a point you are looking at an object below. That angle that your eyes make to the, to the object is called the what? Angle of what? Depression. Angle of what? Depression. We all know the normal eye level is a level at which you, you look at horizontally. By which, let me say you are looking at straight. That is the normal eye level. You are looking straight. You are not looking upward to make an angle of elevation or you are not looking downward to make an angle of depression. I believe you understand what I'm saying. Look at the definition here. In this case, objects are observed, objects observed are seen or observed below the eye level. Therefore, the angle of depression is the angle by which an object is seen or observed by an observer below the normal eye level. This is the normal eye level. So any, any, any point at which you see an object below the normal eye level, the angle it makes with the normal eye level is the what? The angle of depression. Because this is the normal eye level and you're looking below. So the angle it makes is the what? The angle of what? Depression. Recall the normal eye level forms the horizontal line. So we have explained what is an angle of elevation and what is an angle of depression. First, you have to understand the basics of what? The normal eye level. The straight point at which you are looking. The straight point at which you are what? You are looking. That is the horizontal line. The horizontal level of your eye. Is the normal eye level. So if you look at any object above the normal eye level, then you are making an angle of what? Elevation. If you look at any object below, the angle your eye level makes with the object is called what? Angle of what? Depression. So let's look at the next topic, which is the what? The relationship between the what? 
angle of elevation and angle of what depression the relationship between what angle of elevation and angle of what depression what is the relationship between these two angles the angle of elevation is the angle above the eye level you make with the, above the eye level while angle of depression is what angle you make below the what the eye level look at the diagram very very well you can see a dog observing a what a bird on the tree and the bird observing the what the dog also the angle look at the dog the angle the dog is making what an angle of elevation to the what the dog because the normal eye level of the dog he the dog is what observing the bed above his normal is looking up so the angle from the normal eye level to the point where he sees the bed is the what angle of elevation look at the angle of depression the bed is looking downward below is what eye level looking downward at observing the what the dog so it makes a what an angle of elevation depression from the normal eye level to the point where he sees the what the bed so what is the relationship between these two angles that's what we want to talk about here. Look at the diagram. This is the relationship between them. The point at which you are observing uh, an object on the tree and the object is also ob observing. The dog is observing the bed and the bed is also observing the what? The dog. The dog is making an angle of elevation with the bed, looking above the normal eye level, while the bed is making a, what? an angle of depression, looking down below the normal what? eye level. So this is the relationship I read. Consider a bed on a fruit tree and a dog observing the bed on the tree from the ground level. The angle by which the bed observes the dog is called the angle of depression, while the angle by which the dog observes the bed is called the what angle of what elevation. As I've explained earlier, the angle by which the bed observes the dog is called the what angle of depression, and the angle by which the uh, dog observes the bed is called what angle of what elevation. So I continue. It is observed that in this case, the angle of elevation is equal to the what angle of depression. That is, the angles are what alternate angle. If you, are, if you look at the relationship, the relationship is that the angle by which the dog observes the bird on the tree and the angle by which the bird observes the dog, they are what equal. We call them alternate angles in mathematics. They are what alternate angles. Like for example, if you are standing here and you are observing a bird or you want to kill a lizard on a fence higher than your normal eye level, the angle by which you are looking at the lizard to aim at it and the angle by which the lizard is also looking at you that you want to kill it is the same angle. The angle is equal. Probably you are looking at the bed at or the lizard at an angle of 30 degrees. The, the lizard is also observing you from the above level that it is, observing you at an angle of what 30 degrees. I believe you understand what I just said now. So the angle of elevation is equal to the angle of what depression. This is the relationship between the what these two. When a, the dog the dog is observing the bed now at an angle, and the angle by which the bed is also observing the bed is what equal. By this diagram, it's what equal. As I said earlier, provided you have a fruit tree in your house and you want to kill a bed on it, if the dog is, if the bed is looking at you and you're looking at the bed, the angle by which you are looking at the bed above the normal eye level, the, the, the angle of elevation, and the angle by which the bed is also observing you that you are aiming at it is what is equal. So that's why we say the angle of elevation, the, uh, it's, it's observed that in this case, the angle of elevation is equal to the angle of uh, depression. In this, world, in this case, whether you are observing an object and the object, object is also observing you, the angle by which you are observing each other is also what is equal. I believe you understand that now. So let us take how to calculate distance using skill drawing. I will, I will explain the, the skill drawing to you once again. I believe we've done that in our previous term, in our mathematics in the previous term. I'll just brief through. Skill drawing can be used to calculate distance between an observer and the foot of a toe, where an object seen and also the height at which an object is observed from using a skill drawing. We all know what the distance is. Look, let me take you through the drawing again. The point at which the dog is and the foot of the tree, there's a distance. You know, the bed is on the tree. So the, there's a distance between the point of the, of the dog, where it stands, and the foot of the tree, where the, what, the bed is standing. What we are talking about height is what from the foot of the tree to the point where the bed is on the, what, on the tree. The height, the height, the length, at which the bed is from the what from the foot of the from the ground level to the what to where he stands. So the distance from the from the point where the dog stands to the foot of the tree where he's observing the dog, that is the distance. And we have what the height. So I'll take you through it again. Skill drawing can be used to calculate the distance between an observer and the foot of the tower. And the foot of the tower where an object is seen, and also the height at which an object is observed from using the what scale drawing. We all recall what is our formula for scale. It is what length on scale drawing over length on what actual object. 
that this skill drawing is the what representation of a not or actual object on paper on drawing by which you, you can you can have a building a, a building you are looking at like a big story building then you want to draw it or you want to sketch this building on a paper you give it a what a certain skill and you get all the lengths within within your what within your skill so that is what skill drawing so we can also use skill drawing to calculate the distance and height in what angle of elevation and what angle of depression let me take an example go to this thing take an example look at this now an example from a foot from a point a this is point a on low, on level ground 27.5 meter this this 25.75.5 meter is what is the distance from the point a to the foot of a towa this is the towa here you can see the distance from here to here is what 27.5 that is distance is distance and the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is observed to be 44 degrees. That is the angle by which this from this point A, you observe the top of the tower. The angle your eye you make from the eye level to the top of the tower is what 44 degrees. The angles, you know, it's an angle of elevation that is you are observing something above the normal eye level. It is called it is what is given as what 44 degrees. Now the question says, find by scale drawing the height of the what the pole, that is the tower. From this foot of the tower, the ground level to the point at which you observe the what the top of it. So, what is the height of the tower? That's why I said you can also use scale drawing to calculate what distance and height. The distance is given. This forms a what a triangle automatically. It forms a what a right angle triangle automatically. This is the right angle here. This is the acute angle here. So, how do you now calculate it using scale drawing? So, you can see now looking at angle of elevation and angle of depression, we can also use scale drawing to calculate what distance and what and height. So, I will take you through this example to see how. We can use skill drawing to calculate what height. This question is talking about what height. So let us go through it. So look at it now. Solution. Since we are not given a skill, in the question, we are not given a certain skill. But this is it. The beauty of it is that you can choose a suitable skill for yourself. You can choose this. Some questions might come and say represent uh, one, cent, one meter. Look at this. The question is represented in what? In, in distance, in what? In meter. This so question can say represent one meter. From the actual object by what probably five centimeter on skill drawing that is you'll be using five centimeters to represent what one meter on the actual object i believe you will understand what i'm saying we've treated this in our last time but i'll i'll still buttress on it that is you choose you are, you are not giving a skill here you are not giving probably you are giving us represent one meter on this on the actual object by 20 centimeter on the scale drawing it scale can come in any form to make that can that can be comfortable to for you in case you are not giving, you can choose a suitable skill for yourself. And that is what I did in solving what, this question. So I've chosen a suitable skill for myself to solve this question. So I chose the skill to be what? One centimeter to represent five meter on actual object. That is on every actual object, on every five, uh, five meter on actual object, I will take one centimeter. The distance is given as what? 27.5 meter. The distance is given as what? 27.5 meter. So if I want to calculate my distance on scale drawing, that is, if I want to draw it on the paper or on a sketch, I will represent five meters by one centimeter on my paper. I will represent five meters by one centimeter on, that, on my what paper. So we take it, scale equals to what? One centimeter represents five meters on actual object. Then length between A, B becomes, how to calculate scale drawing, formula for scale drawing is what? Length on what? Scale drawing over what? Length on what? Actual object. Length on what scale drawing over length on what actual object, and we have taken our scale to be what well, one centimeter to represent one uh, five meters that is one over five. Since we don't know the, the what is the length on the scale drawing, that is what we want to look for. So we represent it as what x represents what as x and represent what and, and uh, giving what the length on actual object to be what 27.5. So if you this is it, length a b becomes on scale drawing one over five equals to what x over 27.5. If you cross multiply and make x to the subject of the formula, you have x to be what 5.5 centimeter. I would like you to get your pen and your paper to solve and cross check to make sure you get your what 5.5 centimeter. So now we have forgotten our skill on scale drawing. If you want to represent this drawing on paper now, our scale drawing is now what 5.5 centimeter. Recall our scale we chose is what one centimeter to represent what five meters. That is from 27.5 meter now. Now represent what 5.5 uh, centimeter on our scale. So we draw our length to be what we draw our scale and represent it by what 5.5 what centimeter. 
So our A, B becomes what? 5.5 cm. That is from point A to the foot of the toe is what? 5.5 cm. Now, the angle is what? 444 degrees. You know what a protractor is? Bring your protractor, place it on what? Point A. Place it at what? Point A. Your protractor, place it at what? Point A and measure what? 44 degrees. 44 degrees on your protractor. You measure what? Excuse me. You measure what? 44 degrees on your protractor. So when you measure your 44 degrees, draw a line from B to C. This is what? Take the drawing again. This is line what? A, B. The root, uh, the top of the toe is what? Point what? C. The point of the toe is what? Point C. Since you have measured your what? Your length to be what? 5.5 centimeter. Your A, B is what? 5.5 centimeter. Then take your protractor at uh, point A. Place it on point A. Measure 44 degrees. Then draw a line from B to C, which is the top of the toe Then measure the what the height of the what toe by measurement you have the height of the toe to be what 5.3 centimeter 5.3 what centimeter this is it this is we have gotten our 5.5 centimeter as what from point a to what point b as the distance between the what point a to the foot of the toe so this angle of elevation is measured at what 44 degrees so draw a line from what b draw a line from here this is your angle here from a to c then draw a line from what b to what C, I said that is when you go to your angle, draw a line from what B to C, then measure what is this is B to C. If you measure it with the ruler, you get what 5.3 centimeter. You get what 5.3 centimeter. This is how to use a scale drawing to calculate distance and what height. You know, in this question, they call we use what it to calculate what the height. It is the same procedure if you want to calculate for what distance, provided you'll be given a side, probably the what the distance or the what the height. And you'll be given an angle. You might, if you are asked to calculate the what the angle, you'll be giving what the distance and the height. So by that, you can use your protractor to calculate your what your what angle. I believe you understand that. I would like to take one example more with you. So let us take another example, and that will be this example two. Solving using skill drawing. You know this topic where on our learning objective, we tell, we said we are going to be using skill drawing to calculate distance, height, our angles of what elevation or depression. In this case, also. A towa PQ, this is PQ, this is the towa PQ, is 10 meters height. That is the 10 meter, the height of the towa is what? 10 meters. Now we are giving you what? The height of the towa. That is from the ground level P to the top of the towa Q, the, meter, the distance is what? 10 meters. The height is what? 10 meters. So if the distance from point R to P is 50 meters, that is the distance from the point at which the angle of elevation is made from R to Q. That is from this point R, somewhere a, a, a your, your, a boy observes what the top of the tower at an angle theta is not given. So the distance from the point where the object is observed to the foot of the tower is what 50 meters on the ground level. Find the angle of elevation. Now, in this case, I told you earlier, you can be given height and distance to, uh, for you to have to calculate the what the angle. In the previous question, we asked to calculate what the height. So we are given a what a degree uh, an angle of elevation made and what the distance. But in this case, we are given the distance and the height. So we asked to calculate what the angle. So it is very, very also easy also to use our what scale drawing to calculate it. So I proceed to the solution. So solution, using scale drawing, we choose a suitable scale. We are not given a scale. So we can also look at the figures. You have to choose a suitable scale for yourself that you can easily work with. It's not necessary. It has to be one centimeter represent five meters. No, you choose a suitable scale that you can easily work with. That can be easy for you to calculate. That is what I've been doing. Questions can come in other forms, not basically standard numbers, but you have to choose a suitable scale for yourself. So you have to practice questions. We have sent questions earlier. So by this explanation, I believe you can go back to your questions and choose suitable skills. Learn how to choose skills for yourself in solving questions like this. So let's go to the solution. So solving using suitable scale, uh, we choose our, 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 our choose a scale of what? One centimeter to represent what? Five, minute, uh, five meters on actual drawing. That is on the height, I will represent every five meters on this actual drawing by one centimeter on my scale drawing in case i want to i want to sketch it on the paper one centimeter you know this is 10 meters now but five meters of it i will represent it by one centimeter on my paper using my ruler and the distance i will represent every five meter by what one centimeter by distance on my paper using my what ruler so how do you arrive at that recall scale drawing is what length on scale drawing over what length on what actual object since the height is 10 meter so you say you 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 calculate scale is what one over five that is one centimeter over what five meter 
to give you what? Since we don't know the length on the scale drawing, this is what we are looking for. We have to calculate now. So we say we represent it as what? X. I believe you are following. This is what? X over what? 10. 10 meters on what? Height. That is 1 over 5 equals to what? X over what? 10 meters. 1 centimeter to represent what? 5 meters equals to what? X. We are trying to get to what? Our, our, our height in X centimeter to represent on our scale what? Drawing. So solving through using the cross multiplication and making X the subject of formula, you will have your X to be what? 2 centimeter. I would like you to solve this in your paper, in your notebook, cross check and make sure you get an, your X to be what? 2 centimeter. So the distance between, the distance is given as what? 50 meters. So use your scale, which is what? 1 centimeter to represent what? 5 meters, which equals to 1 over 5 equals to what? X over what? 50. If you solve through and make X the subject of the formula, you arrive at what? 10 centimeter. So what do you do now? Look at the drawing. Our height is given as what? Two, we have arrived at on our scale drawing that our height is what? 2 centimeter and our distance is what? 5 or uh, 10 what? Centimeter. Our distance is what? 10 centimeter. Please cross check. Distance is what? 10 centimeter and our height is what? 2 centimeter. Given from this actual drawing now, your PQ is 10 meter and your PR is what? 50 meters. What you do now? Get your ruler. Our on, if you want to draw it on the scale drawing now, on the paper now, PQ was one, is now what? 2 centimeters. And PR is now what? 10 centimeters. So draw a line. This is how you do it. Draw and measure your distance. PR, 10 centimeters, the distance. Using your, using your what? Your ruler. Draw 10 centimeters, represent the distance what? PR as 10 centimeters. Then draw a PQ. That is from the foot of the tower to the top of the tower to be what? 2 centimeters. Then pick a ruler and connect from what? R to Q. Connect from what? R to Q. Place your protractor at what? R. Place your protractor at what point R and get your what angle. If you place your protractor at R, you will get an angle to be what 11 degrees. Your angle will be what 11 degrees. I show you the solution in diagram. So this is it. PQ is what two centimeters and PR is what five centimeters. So draw a line from what R to Q to connect it. So place your protractor at R point R here at what point R here. If you measure it, you get your angle. That is mixed with what the top of the tower. The angle from this PR that makes with what RQ is what 11 degrees. So this is how to use scale drawing to calculate the distance and height in the angle of elevation and depression. I will recap again, take you through angle of elevation, which is what first you have to consider what your normal eye level, which is the horizontal level of the eye. Any angle you make to make to look at an object above the normal eye level is what the angle of elevation. And any uh, any object seen below the normal level the angle is mixed with the normal level is what angle of what depression and i've told you that the relationship between them in the case whereby you are observing an object probably you are observing a bird on the tree you are aiming at it you are trying to kill it and the bird is also observing you to know when you want to eat so it can fly away the angle by which the bird is observing you and the angle by which you are observing the bird is what is the same angle that is angle of elevation in that case is equal to the what angle of what depression always recall your scale drawing how to use your scale drawing. First, you have to know how to, the formula for scale, which is the what length on what scale drawing over length on what actual object. Actual object is the what the natural object, the visible object you can see, while the scale drawing is the what the representation on what on paper, choosing a suitable scale. It is it is it is obvious that you can't draw the a normal visible building in paper. You just have to represent it by a scale and get the actual length for you to know the other length not seen in the what in the in the in the in the visible words object. So this is the end of our class. I've sent questions I have gone you check your lesson notes so you solve them. I believe with this explanation you can do more and more on questions. And I thank you for this time. It's 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 a great time. I'll be back again for the next class to take you on the, on not on other topics. In case you have any questions to ask you can send using the uh the designated platforms that we have. Thank you and have a lovely day.